once we found out that we were going to be making a button for the uh, for a car to run over, we knew that uh, it was going to have to be very strong and be able to support the car, but also at the same time not be so strong that the car can't push the button down. We had a bunch of like research and development of trying different types of springs and how strong the springs are, and um, we pretty much knew what material we were going to use. Um, but it was just a matter of just kind of putting all the different specs together and just figuring out the right combination. Well, they, uh, we knew that we wanted the button to light up, so the center part is actually made from uh, two-inch thick solid uh, acrylic, and we kept that clear. We didn't frost it out or anything um, because the, as the LEDs, the light travels through the acrylic, it kind of disperses a little bit. And we also have uh, micro switches in there that uh, trigger the flashes, like just camera flashes that they wanted. Um, so when the button's pressed, it should trigger the flashes and the light coming on at the same time. Um, the only question that we have right now is if the tire is actually going to be able to push the button down, just because we haven't, we haven't tried it yet. So that's kind of the only thing that's still up in the air. Um, and that the tire of the car is actually a fairly wide rear tire. Um, so we're just hoping that it's not so much surface area that it, it blocks out the whole red part, you know, and that you can't read it. And that there's enough tire to actually be able to press the button down.